Hey folks, it's Naturalist Marty. We are in the perfect place, a red pine stand, to identify Pinus resinosa. So red pine, also known as hard pine or Norway pine, is native to North America, popular timber for flooring and uh, for reforestation efforts because it grows fast, 12 inches a year, and it can tolerate uh, low quality, poor soils like sandy soils. So let's take a closer look at some of the characteristics on this super easy pine to identify. The tree averages 75 feet in height, so unless those pine cones hit the ground, you're gonna have a hard time seeing them up there. They have this general ovoid shape. They can be tightly wound like on the left or opened up there on the right. Let's take a look at the bark. It's pinkish red. And I think that depending on how you look at it, it has these vertical stripes, these almost white vertical stripes. As we move in closer, you see how detailed this is, how many scales and layers there are. One other thing about the trunk of this tree, and it's similar for white pines too, every time you see a branch that comes off, that's a new year's worth of growth. By far the most popular field trait used to identify the red pine, Pinus resinosa, are its needles. So they're four to six inches long, they're flexible, they're slightly twisted, but most notably they're in groups of two. Each one of those clusters, called a fascicle, is paired. So you got two needles per fascicle. Thanks for tuning in to learn how to identify these red pines. Although they are native to the northeastern forests, they're not super common unless they're planted. And then, in which case, they're locally very common. Tune in this spring for more tree ID with me, Naturalist Marty. We'll get to the broadleaf trees like maples and oaks. I'm looking forward to it.